The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello everybody, this is Jack and let me know if you see my screen. We're getting ready for a new training and today I want to show something what I'm using, using myself almost 10 years now. So I know everything about it, I created it, I use it, most of my clients use it, I use it for myself, so there's a lot of to talk today. So with that said, hi Chris, hi Ake, hi Paul. So with that said, let me know, hi Arlene. So let me know what you have done for your business the last seven days. So did you prospect clients? Did you create a website? Did you uh, learn something? Did you sign up a client? Did you create an ad? Now I have to say, not to brag, a little bit dragging, sorry. I sign up about at average now one AdWords clients per week. And I follow a certain step plan all the time. And actually, actually, Arlene is creating. So I did a two day uh, personal training, and Arlene is putting that training in. Um, so I, I translated it. So I had a couple of slides. My I spoke to the whiteboard, uh, that was my thing. I, I took pictures of it, but everything got documented. And Arlene is now putting that information into a nice training. And I was wondering when it is finished. It takes certain a couple of weeks more. When it is finished, who would like to have that training? And I promise it has every sweat, every dropper, every everything what I know about AdWords it has in it. And I use it every time. Every time I, I use the same steps over and over. There's no how do you say that? There's no secret of uh 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 it's no secret what I don't reveal in that training. Okay? So wolf you guys Wolf, you guys went to my um, event in Bogotón in May. Enter yes if you went, okay? Paul went, okay? So, Paul, you remember that I offered uh, the two-day personal training for $10,000, correct? So, I put that into... Um, a training. So we are working on it. And Jeff said, no, I couldn't come, but we'll try to attend next time. Yeah, Jeff, it's not your mistake. I kind of announced it short, but next year in May, we will do the same. Last time, every seed was taken. Correct, Paul? Every seed was taken uh, in the room. And, and the atmosphere, the, uh, it was, I, I really liked how, how things went. Paul said, had to bring in more chairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, I had, most had a table. So, and now I know where to do it. Uh, I have my project, I have everything in place. So, but next year will be, of course, a little bit other topic. But AdWords will always be my core product. Oh, Dave, 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 Dave. You have a step plan for the live event, yes, yes. Are in good. So Dave said, any update on offering an email marketing offer for a business? Yes, there is an update, kind of. So we had actually, we meet about two, 
to three times a week. And actually, last Sunday, we had a meeting uh, about it. And yeah, uh, Monday, we had a meeting about it. Tomorrow, we have a meeting about it. We, we defined, this is what you get. And now we're working on the, the pieces to fulfill. So it's really a lot of manpower into it at the moment. So that's coming nice together. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that. So I, and today I had a live demo with Arlene about uh, getting started uh, Sand Eagle. So we took a lot of screenshots and I did not give Arlene a lot of instructions. We just recorded it and I wanted to know what Arlene was questioning. How should work this? How should I do this? And I make notes and, and those notes will be done tomorrow. And then we do another getting started. And so we improve it. Now, what I found out, giving a demo, teasing something and other, is actually the best way to find out where you can improve. So that went really well. And I signed up a security company uh, past week, an HVAC with duck for duck cleaning and odor. Today I signed up a roofer company and um, I signed up a new uh, company who does online education. So yeah, things are moving around. So, having said that, are you guys ready for a new training? I kind of feel I speak too much without that you guys giving me a lot of feedback. So, let me know if you're ready. And then we roll this. So, like, like I said, Back in 2009, I started, it's 10 years ago. Next month, next month, August is 10 years ago. Next month, 10 years ago, I started with my, actually, local business and online marketing business. And then at that point, I, did, I started to do AdWords for myself. But what did Google already 10 years ago? they increased the click price every year. I would say every month, but I, maybe they do every month, but they increase every year. So it was really needed to know, it was really needed to know what are good keywords, correct? And also I wanted to repeat how, uh, how important it is to follow up with your leads. So if you go to, I just Googled it. So the day of the week initial does a lead that become a qualified lead. So if you don't follow up with a call, with a lead, the alt that you get in hold on that lead after an hour is much lesser than if you follow up within the hour. Does that make sense? So it's really important that you follow up with a lead or that the business follow up with a lead. Does that make sense? You see response time from the category by hours, okay? And even, where is it? Response time from the creation by hours, okay? And I, 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 and even within the hour, it is important to follow up in a couple of minutes. Now, true to be said, not on every call you kind of want to respond. You, you kind of prefer to get a voice message and then decide, correct? Especially when you don't know who's calling. But if it is a good call, you want to follow up immediately and 
kind of hoping close the deal, correct? Okay. Now, um, I found out personally that if you don't, if you cannot close the deal, a tax matches does miracle. Okay. So, so if you're not able to answer the call and you send a text message to that caller, then uh, the odd that you still get a positive result is much higher when you send a text message. So today, you're going to learn how to set up voice message uh, leaving voicemail sorry voicemail how to send up a text message with a successful call or failed call and kind of I want to touch base a little bit how you can convert the call and I have some great news great news for who's from you guys is it done for you Turbo member, enter yes or no. I have a great surprise for you. I didn't email. I, I should. I didn't have time to email about it yesterday. So I will. I will tell you some amazing things. Now, inside the call board, I don't know if I'm time out or not. You go to numbers, all numbers, and then you go to edit the number. And you can also order a new number. Okay, all simple. I hardly get question. I hardly get question that uh, how to use Cobalt. It's so the the interface is so much settled down. So if you want that the caller can leave a voice message, you can enable it, and I. Typically, typically, um, sorry, I should have my mouse bigger, and I promised R to look into it, but I didn't. So hopefully, you can still see my mouse, and I have to work on it. Now, put the yellow circle around it, but I don't have a yellow circle. So I need to install something that can change the mouse. So I need, if you want to leave a voice message, then uh, you enable, you select this. Say, I want, I typically do 10 seconds. Okay. And then, and then you can upload your own audio. So the best is your own voice, correct? So, hey, sorry that I missed your call. I'm either away from my desk or helping another customer. I will follow up as soon as possible. Correct? Please leave a message. So everybody hear, hears that message and you can re record it in your own voice. But you can also select one predefined, which are, which are pretty good, okay? It's nothing wrong with it, just not your voice. So let me play this. One second. So you get an ID. What the default is. Hi, thank you for calling. I'm sorry I missed your call. I'm either away from my desk or on the other line helping a client. Please leave a message with your name and the reason of your call. I will get back to you as soon as possible. You will receive a text message shortly giving you more detailed information. Thanks for calling. Talk soon. Okay. And Hi, oh, sorry. And most will just leave a message, correct? Now you can have that recording sent to your email, my email, my email dot gmail.com. Okay. Then once the recording is finished, it's sent that email and you can have that number, uh, that recording sent to your, um, 
mobile phone. So now you get a text matches with recording and you can list the record and quickly decide if you want to follow up. Everybody follow this because this is kind of an essential. So now you can capture the, the voice matches and get a text message with recording. So then you can send a text message to caller if they didn't leave a voice message. Okay? If they didn't leave a voice message. Now, then you can say, sorry, I miss your call. We get back to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, visit your website. Okay? You can go to the prospecting website again, read about it, or about your service, and get kind of warmed up. Okay? Does that make sense? If you had a successful call, you answer the call, you can also send a thanks for the call. And if you need more information, you go to that website. So now you are in control. You convert, you conv convert an, a call into text matches. And if they, most, most calls, no, many calls from the, at least in the turbo system, you leave a voice message in on a mobile phone and they return that call from the mobile phone. So th those, in those cases, you can easily send a text message. If it's a landline, it doesn't work. Okay? And now you have text message alerts and all those kind of things. And you, and you can, oh, and this, this one, this one, uh, if you enable this, enabled for our tax match. So in the website, you can also have, if they tax, tax or call this number, that is what this is, okay? So you can select ring, ringtone, the greeting, whisper, and lately, I do, t you guys have noticed that? Turbo, turbo, turbo. So you know this is coming from the turbo. Guys, notice that? So now, and then you save this, okay? And then, what we can do is we can do a quick test. Let's see. Let's see, I will enable in in one second. Okay. So if you guys want to call this number, you see how it works. Five six one six one seven eight four zero four. Five six I will put it in the, in the chat, my first chat message. If you want to test, you can call this. And you should be able to leave a voice message. And if you hang up, then you get another text message. So tell me, yes, if you did that. That's cool. Now. People, business nowadays Business have marketing money, and they don't spend it only on one thing. They sp they sp maybe spend it on AdWords, they spend it on Facebook, maybe they spend it on SEO, on print. Okay, there are several several ways that the business yellow pages, Groupon, many places they can spend money. Correct. So. Would it not be benefit for that business? And I, and I have been a business owner too. I know exactly what I'm saying now. Would it not be nice that they know 
how much results they get from a certain marketing spending. How much calls they get for yellow pages, how much calls they get for Groupon, how much calls they get from AdWords, how much calls they get for Facebook advertising. Couldn't, couldn't you imagine they put, first month they put $500 in each box, and then they find out how many calls they get, and then based on that, they can decide, okay, I get the most results from, let me say that now, AdWords, and I'm going to uh, focus on. Yeah, let's say Home Advisor AdWords. What is the best money I spent, Will, correct? $1,000 at Home Advisor or $1,000 in AdWords? Okay, so you get kind of a good comparison. So, this is the kind of service, it takes a little bit of education to explain that idea to a business owner, but if you say, um, so if you are in, in, a, in a conversation with a business owner, so let, do, can you handle more leads, okay? So let me ask you some questions. Do you, do you spend money on, on different uh, marketing uh, streams like Facebook, AdWords? Okay, how much money do you spend? And then you say, do you know how much re return, ROI you get? And I guarantee you, nine of the ten business owners say, no, it's hard to track, correct? No. Would you be interested that I can help you with that? And, and stop wasting your money. Get better results. I guarantee nine of the ten times business owners will say yes, correct? And they will say, well, how much does it cost? No. You can charge at least $200 per month for it, correct? $200 per month for service for business is very usual, okay? Now, AdWords, nowadays the current rate is 500 for a regular uh, niche and $1,000 for a higher-end niche. I get each month, I get a check from a lawyer, which I converted in two minutes. I set it up in three days, and because I don't want to lose a client, I log in regularly. So, see if the calls come in. So those, what is today's date? 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23. you see? Now, question is, you see, you, you, if it is, if they leave a recording, you see it in this symbol, correct? Ever see the symbol? Now I click on it and I can listen to the replay. It's not long, 40 seconds. So, probably hi Jack. Turbo, turbo, turbo. Please turbo, leave your turbo. message for yeah. Jack Hopman. Turbo, 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 turbo. <laughs> Somebody. Good. <laughs> Joking with me. Please leave your message for Jack Hoffman. Hi, Jack. It's Dave Sukert. Yeah. How are you doing? Can you... Okay, so I kind of liked what I heard and I said I want to follow up. Guys, want to see in one click how I follow up? If I don't want to use my own phone, I click on call caller, call caller, the number get automatic fetched and I said make a call. See if I get an answer. Maybe he put that phone number on silent during the webinar. No. So I can't, he didn't uh, pick up the phone. But you see how easy it is to return that call? Okay, let me. 
which of the phone numbers will get displayed the call tracking number? All right, let's see here. Let's see, call this back. Hello, this is Jack. Uh, you just left a message and was wondering how I can help you. Yes, so before I know how I can help you out, can you tell a little bit about your business? Yes, so how many uh, new how many customers do you help each month? Okay. Excellent. So thanks for responding to my call and uh, you see if you see if you are live on the web you see how easy it was to get a hold of you, correct? Thank you. You guys see how easy it is to follow up if you don't want to use your own phone? You just click on call or call, correct? Ever to see how it works? You don't need to be technical. It's just click, 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 correct? Can I get a wearing a headset? Why? Well, yeah, you need a headset, correct? I'm getting so used to wear a headset. It's kind of don't think on it anymore. You know, also why we are a website. You probably don't know. You know why I wear a headset during my work? Because I like silence. Yeah. I like silence around me. <laughs> so, are we using our cell to the computer? No. This is all. Did it, it's used a call tracking number to call the prospect. Okay, so at this point it's not using, it's not showing your mobile number. It's nothing wrong when you sign up a client to give your number, correct? Because all my clients have my mobile number. Yeah, this is the call CD tracking number. Now, is this the call record? Is the call record? Yes. So this or oh, this call I just did. Yeah. You see this? When I you see this 2020? Uh, it's just uh, uh, latest call. When I refresh this, you will see that the call I placed was also recorded. 2020. Okay. And now I forgot what I did, but that call is also recorded. That's a very good question. Yeah, call tracking number is used to call the prospect. The prospect calls a call tracking number, and within the call pod, you can call back. You can also, you get a text message. You can also call directly from your mobile phone the prospect. Both ways works are good, okay? Kind of the most important thing is that you respond fast. Okay, in the turbo system, you, um, in the turbo system, you can say, do I want to target companies who advertise on AdWords, on Home Advisor, all niches. Now, I promise you something that uh, uh, I, 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 I want to do one cold call with art. Okay, so let me show you first something, and then I want to do one cold calling with art. Okay. See if I can log in. When you log in, in the Done For You portal, there is a new video. And this, this is, I, Chris Charles, 
$497 to do in one hour call, uh, calling training. So I did that and I recorded it. And, uh, and I put it on for you. So I simulated kind of, I played the role. I wanted to learn from Chris, how do you convert such client? And he gave me new insights how to do it. So I'm going to play it uh, for a minute and then um, we can speak about it more. Okay? Right. But also remember this you have four yeah. seconds when you make a cold call mm -hmm. to establish a relationship. So in those four four seconds, you got to make sure you're one enthusiastic as hell. I mean, this this tells the prospect, hey, you got something great to offer. So it's kind of like, hey, Jay, how you doing, buddy? Real quick, you know, just and let me just tell you some other things. You need to be sharp. If they don't know you're sharp as a tack, you're wasting your time. So enthusiastic, sharp, and you need to be an authority figure, a force to be reckoned with. Now, I do like that. One thing I could tell about you, Jack, is Jack, you're, you, sound, you sound like a type A personality. You're very aggressive. I'm not, I'm not right. sure if I'm aggressive, but I'm, I know, I, I'm confident I can help you. Right. So I like the confidence, and I, I like, I like, but the, the problem is, I think you could convert a whole lot more. Mm -hmm. Remember how I spoke on the video about tonality? Tonality is, is, is key. So one is, is getting that excitement. Now that, that doesn't mean calling and going, hey, Jack, how mm -hmm. are you doing? That, that, would, that would scare people. <laughs> but when you're first coming and calling and you're saying, hey, is, is Bill available? This is, this is Jack from, and I don't remember the name. Local. You guys like that? So... When you log in uh, the Done For You portal, you have access to it, okay? And I make notes, and I have to upload them, from every nugget in uh, this for the Done For You members, yes. So I'm, I make note uh, from, from all of this. And even Chris sent me... Uh, and script as well, so I need to upload it as well. Now, R, do you have a headset? Are you able to come on the call? Okay, I want R to say you don't know the name. I know R, you, you don't know. But I am going to train you on it. Okay, R, I don't see you, I don't see you have a headset. It's not connected. That's pretty. Okay. Somebody else will want to do a cold call? Yeah, but uh, I cannot unmute you. There's no symbol that I can unmute you in GoToWebinar. I don't know why that is, but there's no symbol that I can unmute you. I'm not kidding yet because I was looking forward. If, does somebody else do uh, want to do cold call? Okay. Will, you seemed good. Okay, Christoph. Okay, good. Hopefully, you have a headset. Hi, Christopher. Uh, hi, Jack. How are you? Fine, thank you. So, um, you get a voice drop from me. I'm the marketer. You are the business owner, okay? Good. You respond to that voice message. I know nothing about your business, okay? Uh, you just respond to the voice message, okay? I know I don't know your name, I don't know anything, okay? Got you. And let's see how this goes. So you 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 call me now, 
the, the five six number? No, just say just say uh, hello. This is Chris. Okay, all right, got it. All right, Mister. And you are hello, the um, you are the business. Is... I'm the marketer, correct? Right, right. Uh, yeah, are you yep. good? So your advertisement for this uh, call tracking service, and I'd like some more information. Yes. Hi, this is Jack. What is your name again? I'm Chris Daly. Yeah, hi, Chris. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, so you saw, uh, you listened to, how did you get a hold of me? Well, a friend of mine um, sent me this email that he knows I've, I've been in the market to try to understand this call tracking capabilities that can give us um, feedback. And he, he said some other services are much more expensive than this, and I should check this out. So I, of course, right away call and find out what you do offer, Jack. Okay, so Chris, uh, before I uh, I know if you're a good fit, uh, I'd like to ask you some questions and see how I can help you the best. So, uh, does that make uh, Sosa sound good for you? It certainly does. So, uh, for how long are you in business? I've been doing uh, business for the last five years. And what are you? What kind of business do you have? Well, we 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 try to um, and the way I my thirty second uh, thing is that we we dis help you discover what your market this is different is and we amplify that to your clients that they'll say yes to you first time. Okay, good. Now let let's hold this down for a second, okay? Okay, Chris, are you a real business or are you playing this? No, I have a real, I, I, I do digital marketing. So right now we, one of the clients I have, are, um, I have a sales guy who would like to try to sell leads to uh, roofers. Mm -hmm. And um, he likes some of the marketing I have. So we're trying to do a partnership. And part of it is, is you know, we with roofers especially, or with him, we need to put uh, call tracking uh, capability in place that we have. That kind of trust and authenticity of yes, that make needs that make a lot of sense. Now this was yeah. a demo of a prospecting call. How did you feel? How the first couple of minutes, I think, minutes went? How did you feel about this? Did you feel? It went you, well. It, you were warm and and engaging. Okay, so this is kind of where Art was looking for. Art say this is not a realistic because you don't have a website. So so, but. I kind of, I kind of let you say the name, and of kind of, how did you find us? And of kind of let you give you ask you permission to tell about your business, correct? That's correct. And when you at the point you give permission, I can ask you questions, and you're willing to ask a question because we have a common goal to help your business, correct? Correct. Now. It is the start of the call is 80% of the sale. So when you start the call on the right way and you guide it on a friendly but on a controlled way, you are you you set up your for success. So I felt and maybe uh, you may I felt we we would end up doing business. I agree. Yeah. Okay. So let me ask the audience. Who, what do you guys think about that? What is your opinion? Okay, Art said that call wasn't really generic to our turbo don't view. Neither of you know anything about each other. Okay, now Art, that is correct. He, Chris didn't know me and I didn't know Chris. So, Maybe Chris should have asked, hey, what are you for a person, okay? And maybe, but I was working on to understand Chris' business. So that is, that that I have addressed, okay? And now like... I, I'd explain, I'd explain that, um, you know, I was in the, in the marketplace to look for a car, car tracking solution. And a friend of mine had actually shared 
Jack's contact. So, you know, I, I, I knew a little about that he offered a product within the space. And this now was now to, you know, to get more detail on if it's a solution that, that met all of my criteria. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I kind of want to test the first minutes and see if somebody else wants to simulate that too. So any, any questions you have for me, Chris, before we end this call? Yeah, I, I've heard, I said, uh, Sunday night was the first time I saw it and I signed up right away for this thing. It's, it's actually real. I mean, in the market for this. You mentioned something about turbo, 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 and I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> okay. So, it's not about turbo, but if you go to my website, we go, you have done for you. Uh -huh. And then you have the done for your client getting service. And with the done for your client service, we send out 500 voice drop messages and 5,000 emails per month to warm up leads that they respond to either by uh, phone call or by email. That is what we, that's what we do. So if you want to learn more about it, there is the link. And uh, let's see if I can put email it. Email and, and uh, voice drops, you say? Yes. OK. So I try to put it in chat. OK? OK, see it. Got it. Thank you. OK, thanks for coming on the, the trading. And, uh, and thanks for signing up. Oh, gee, yes, definitely. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Okay. Does somebody else want to do role play with me and respond to voice drop message? Art, I still cannot get you on the line because it doesn't show that you have a headset. Anybody else? So, if you change your mind, you can still do. Now, the trick is that you kind of guide that call in a friendly way, okay? And you set up the stage how that call goes. And in this training, it's all lined out. So this, this our training, what I did last week with, with uh, Chris, changed, no, not changed, but fine-tuned my prospecting uh, skills. And I, I give to all the done for you members for free. Okay. It will be for sale, I don't know, $200, something like that, because I paid also big bucks for that. Okay. Anybody question? Some prospect think it's robot calls. Okay. So, Gary, do you want to be on the call with me? Okay. Isn't it done for you portal, uh, Jimmy, on the dashboard? And this is the video, and I have gone to the whole video and make notes, and I have to pause them. And then Chris also provide me with a script, and I'm going to pause it too, but that I have to work on it. The I will post the link the the done for you portal. Okay. You all, all the turbo members have access to that. Do you see the link? So any question before we end the call? So the main question, the main goal was, do you understand how powerful the call tracking portal is. 
enter yes or no if you understand how powerful this how how to use it okay then the second question is are you in are you a member or are you not a member Gary, Gary Marks, it is the best. Dave said, I'm a member. Johnny's a member. Jamie Hoskins, member. Yeah, thousands of members we have. So it's growing every month. And there's a full time program on it. Okay. Any other questions before we end the call? So. Uh, yeah, if you don't have the done for you, Arlene, I feel I will make the video at some point available for one ninety-seven dollar with the script when everything is finished. I I paid also for the training. I didn't have it for free. Gear yeah, said, "No like and trust is important." Yeah, trust important. Getting the so getting the name is important, but the, the, how you guide that is uh, is just very reasonable to guide it. Okay. And getting to know which business, you just ask, okay, before I know if you are a good fit, I need to ask you some questions. Is that okay to you? Okay. Just you just ask permission. Okay. So with that said, our, do you know when you will be posting the notes and script? Yeah, Jimmy asks always those nice questions. And uh, I don't know, but my goal is this week. So, the goal is this week. So, I have the notes. I have the notes from the call. I did that. Uh, and the script needs some work. Okay. So, with that said, I thank everybody for joining the call. And looking forward to you for the next training call next Tuesday, 8 p.m. EST. And you can sign up via jackhopman.com. Thank you so much.